Now, Amadou Sidibe, who built Mali's first fully automated greenhouse with a high-tech irrigation system, says that if nothing is done against climate change, Africa won't be able to feed her children, and that means war. Sidibe believes his greenhouse will defeat the scourge of rising temperatures and dwindling water supplies in the Sahel, which experts say is especially vulnerable to climate change. Strawberries grow at any time of the year in this fully automated greenhouse in Mali, where climate change is threatening around 80% of the population that derive their income from agriculture. Rising temperatures, erratic rainfall and creeping desertification are amongst some of the reasons Sid Bay Agrotechniques built the first fully automated greenhouse in Mali in 2011. As well as working on improving food security in the volatile country, the company is creating jobs. The company had eight workers in 2011. Today, there are more than 30, most of them women. I remember when I first came here, it was something else. I was amazed with all these, and little by little, I got used to it, and well, I take care of the tomatoes from the planting all the way to the harvesting. The modern high-tech greenhouse controlled by artificial intelligence is the first of its type to be built in Mali. City Bay Agrotechniques trains future farmers in agricultural innovation and shares their expertise with the workforce who have seen a net increase in the production and quality of their crops at home. The greenhouse is the brainchild of Malian architect Amadou Sidibe, who today is looking to expand his one hectare of land 40 kilometers from the capital, Bamako. In the time of our grandfathers, it used to rain and the cycles were regular. With human activity, you find that the rains are more and more irregular, the droughts more and more frequent, and we no longer control the water. And if we no longer control the water, we don't control agriculture. As an architect, Sidi Bey traveled extensively. He got the idea of building a greenhouse after visiting Israel, where he said the climate was similar to that of Mali. Before that, he used to sell high-tech drip feed irrigation systems for agriculture. Sidi Bey says controlling water is the key to conquering climate change. At first, Sidibe was frustrated by the government's lack of interest in his greenhouse project, which began with a 300-square-meter plot of land. But thanks to a loan from the World Bank in 2013, he expanded his project to half a hectare. And in 2016, that turned into one hectare, 10,000 square meters. Today, he plans to build a 10-hectare greenhouse and is determined to prove that modern technology and AI agriculture is the key to overcoming the threat of climate change and food security in Mali.